Hi it's Charlotte, welcome back to my channel, I hope you're doing well. So for today's video I wanted to do a gift guide for her, whether it's your girlfriend, your sister, your mum, your nan, or that girl that you fancy in your class. I wanted to be your little helper this year for Christmas in case you don't know what the heck to get for a girl and you need help. That's what we're going to do today. It's going to be a wide mix of like beauty, skincare, fashion, a couple of things I'm going to be showing you because I own them myself and some things I'm going to be like I want this too and I will just pop little pictures on the screen for you if I don't have them. I'm going to be putting prices on the screen as well as I don't want to be looking at prices the entire video. And yeah, if you're new to this channel then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and I really hope this video helps you in some way and you enjoyed this video. I'm going to start off with beauty as I just feel like I've been a bit bombarded with it when going Christmas shopping. So the first thing that I've obviously been drawn into is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb Mini Collection. Now I have one of the full size glosses and honestly I can say it is the best gloss I've ever used and I don't think I could ever use a different gloss. So when she came out with these minis I just thought it was perfect and Boots also before Christmas they tend to do a lot of 25% off so it comes in like this cute little tin. If I'm right most of these are like limited edition shades. I just think that these are so beautiful. If it's a girl that's into her makeup, if you've noticed her wear a gloss a couple of times, even if she's just a fan of Rihanna as this is Rihanna's beauty brand then maybe this would be a good gift idea. I'm going to be using this a lot this Christmas. The lip gloss formula is amazing so really good present idea. The next thing that I wanted to talk about was the Too Faced Paint the World Pink set and I was looking at this and I just thought it was such a good value for money and you know if they're into their pink makeup or you've heard them talk about the brand Too Faced this comes with a full-sized better than sex mascara, a full-sized primer, a full-sized melted matte liquid lipstick in the shade Child Star I believe and you get a mini lip injection too and you just save so much money. I know in my personal opinion I love the mascara, the primer is really nice. I haven't tried the liquid lipstick but I've heard really good things about it. This would also be just like a really nice little cute gift set to receive especially if they're into the brand Too Faced or maybe they haven't tried it yet and they're going to get like a collection of products from them so they can try out the brand. I next want to talk about two brands which I think are doing really nice gift sets this Christmas. So first off gonna be no surprise that I'm talking about Charlotte Tilbury. I just think packaging for Charlotte Tilbury, how luxurious their brand is, there would be no better makeup gift than a Charlotte Tilbury product. So I was looking at their Christmas gifting and they've got the gift of Pillow Talk lips. Now Pillow Talk is one of their like most infamous shades. It's probably one of their more popular ones as it's just like the perfect pinky nude. So you basically get the full size lipstick in the shade Pillow Talk and like a mini lip liner that goes with it and I think this is just such a lovely little lip duo gift set. Another thing I think from Charlotte Tilbury that would be a lovely present is one of their eyeshadow palettes. Um, I was having a look and their Starry Eyes to Hypnotize palette is just so dreamy and it's basically like four looks in a palette and I love these kind of eyeshadow palettes because it's just so versatile. I feel like you couldn't go wrong with this palette because there's so many different looks in it but they're bound to like at least some of them and get their use out of it. Another palette is their instant look in a palette and I'm not gonna lie, I've eyed this up for quite a while because it sort of comes with your, your eyeshadows, your blush, your highlighter and your bronzers all in this cute little palette. And because of the shades in the palette, I feel like it would work for most people and it would just be like a nice little handy palette to take with you. I just think that's a really nice palette idea to have everything in one palette. I just love the quality of Charlotte Tilbury makeup products, so I just always recommend them, especially as a gift. And last for beauty, I want to talk about Anastasia Beverly Hills. I was on Cult Beauty a couple of days ago and I saw that they have this eyeshadow palette vault which has the Soft Glam and the Modern Renaissance palettes. Now these are two palettes that I've wanted for so long, which is why this caught my eye. And I just thought you save so much money. Usually these palettes are about £40 each, a lot of money, but buying them together you save money. If it's someone who's really into her eyeshadows, maybe she plays with makeup a lot and you know she likes this brand. And then from Anastasia, I also saw this undressed lip set, which is basically just full of nudes. So if your girl likes nudes, this might be for her. I think it's full of like mattes, a metallic, possibly a lip gloss, I'm not too sure. But you basically just get this range of lovely nude lips 
that she's probably going to get a lot of use out of, especially if maybe she hasn't tried the Anastasia lipsticks before. Um, I don't think I have. I'm not sure how they fare on the lips. However, I've heard very good things about them and I've tried other products from the brand in the past, which is why I think they're a brand you can trust, basically. So I just think that would be a lovely gift as well. Now, I wanted to throw a few skincare bits in here. As I know, you know, maybe the girl you know, maybe she doesn't wear that much makeup and she's more into her skincare. So I've been hearing a lot about Glow Recipe. I've got a couple of things on my wish list from them. But again, they're a little bit pricey. So they have this little mini gift set called Glow Baby Glow. And you basically get two minis of two of their like most popular products. So I think they have a couple of things like this. But it's just, again, if you just want a little sort of like stocking filler present, this could be like a really nice idea. And similarly, uh, with Drunk Elephant, they also are quite on the more expensive side, but they like to do their little minis for gifting. And again, another really cute stocking filler idea. I know that I have tried some minis from Drunk Elephant in the past and I love their skincare range. And they always have such good reviews. So this is the Night Bright skincare set and you get two, again, two minis of two of their most popular products. Again, I feel like skincare mini sets like this is a nice way to try a skincare brand without splashing out all your money. If you don't actually know if you like the products or not, it's not quite nice to have as a gift rather than to buy for yourself. So that's why I'm putting those in there. I'm next gonna talk about a couple of things that I have here. So first I'm gonna talk about Kylie Cosmetics skincare as I have been using their moisturizer and their eye cream for a couple of months now and I'm still using it pretty much on a daily basis and really enjoying them. If you know that she's really into the Kardashians or she looks up to Kylie for example and you know that she's always eyeing up some of her products, this might be really nice. I feel like it will show that you're going a bit out of your way for their present because you will have to order sadly from the US, unless you manage to find the product secondhand from someone, it would mean a lot to them if they know that you've had to order from the US because it's like, you know, you've put a lot of thought into it. Yeah, I think, especially if they're into the aesthetic skincare, because all the packaging is pink, which is just adorable. So yeah, I recommend some of her skincare. And lastly, if you would like to stay in the UK region, I've recently been trying out a lot of skincare from Florence by Mills. So the first couple of things that I've got were the micellar water, the face wash, and the dewy moisturizer. I just think, look at the, again, the packaging for the skincare brand, not that it's the most important thing, but it's just so lovely. I got these from Boots, which again, usually near Christmas, they tend to do like a 25% off, which is what I got on these. And, I will let you know if they have that on at the moment. It's not on the terribly expensive side, but at the same time, it's still like really nice products. This brand is by Millie Bobby Brown, so if you know someone who's really into Millie Bobby Brown and wants these products because of her, that might be a really nice idea. I know that her brand's mainly targeted towards sort of younger, so if it's like a younger girl sort of looking to get into her skincare, um, maybe you might find this a little bit more appropriate. But yeah, I've been really enjoying the face wash and cleansing gel. The Dreamy Dewy moisturizer, I'm still sort of testing out. All in all, I'm really enjoying all of her products. And I've also just recently got her Glow Lip Oil, and I'm really enjoying this as well. Yeah, I think you should definitely check out that brand if you think it's something they might be interested in. Next, I thought I would talk about some perfumes. So obviously, it really depends on the person. Like, everyone, I feel like, has a different sense of scent everyone has a different favorite but i just thought i would give you my insight just in case you don't have anywhere to go on um or you don't want to ask them what they want because you want it to be a surprise so i'm currently loving dior joy and i got this from my boyfriend for last christmas as i did ask for it i'm so obsessed with this scent it's absolutely my favorite at the moment i don't really i feel like it's so hard to explain scents but i feel like it's it's a little bit sweet not too sweet it smells elegant to me i don't i'm not the best please don't take my word on the scent i just think it's really nice and i don't like super heavy scents i mean you can always obviously go in and smell them all yourself but i really recommend this for just if you're not sure what to get her another one that has been like my favorite for the longest time is the black opium de toilette not the perfume the perfume not the perfume <laughs> uh I think this is sort of like, oh my god, I love it so much. It's more like dark and fruity. This is definitely more of like 
night out, if I'm going on like date night, going out, this is sort of more I put on. Probably wouldn't wear this in the day, but I love this. It's pretty much empty. There's a little bit at the bottom, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of scared to use it because I want another one. I am obsessed with this and definitely will at some point need to be repurchasing this. I feel like dark and fruity is a good way of explaining this. So if you think that she might like the sound of that, I so, so recommend this. I'm obsessed with this perfume. So then I also thought I'd talk about two that I really want that um, might be good ideas but I don't actually own. One of them is the Daisy perfume, which I know is such a popular perfume. I feel like so many people rave about it and I've tried it on so many times in store and I really want it as well. So I guess there's a reason why so many people rave about it. And the other one is the Kimoji peach perfume. I obviously on my channel have talked about my peach phases and I also am obsessed with the scent of peach. So I haven't actually smelled the perfume, but I feel like I just know if it smells of peaches, I'm gonna be obsessed with it. So again, like the Kylie skincare, you would be ordering from the US, but if it was worth it to you to get this person that perfume, I'm sure that they would see like what you went through to get it for them and they'd really appreciate it. I'm next gonna be talking about watches in case maybe that is the route you're wanting to go down. I don't currently have any to show, however, I definitely recommend Daniel Wellington, which is a brand that I'm always looking at. In particular, I think the Gold Petite Melrose, I think it's called, looks so cute. And I love sort of like the leather straps that you can like alternate. And yeah, I just think the brand is so nice. The watches look so elegant. A Daniel Wellington watch probably would go down pretty well if they don't already have one. And then, then my last one is if you do have the money to splash is an Apple watch. I don't actually own one but this is on my wish list as I just think any person who's an Apple person, as in Apple over Android, probably wants an Apple watch as well. If they're more into their techie watches opposed to pretty beautiful watches then this might be the one to go for. Maybe especially if they don't like taking their phone everywhere I feel like this would be very good because they wouldn't have to take their phone with them but they'd still be able to take calls and reply to messages and stuff. They'd still have everything with them without having to take their phone places which I think is a very good idea. Okay so next if maybe you're thinking of like a smaller present for like a phone case or a laptop case I think this is always a good idea if you can tell that theirs is looking a little bit worn um, and maybe you want to update it for them. So first talking about <laughs> skinny dip. In terms of phone cases I <laughs> Yeah, these all pretty much look the same. I pretty much do mainly use skinny dip phone cases. I just, I don't know, I'm just drawn to them. So currently I have this peachy phone case on. It's meant to be the one that's like, you know, if you drop it, it ain't gonna break basically. Also have this other peach phone case from Skinny Dip that I got for my birthday from my friend. And I also have this Little Mermaid Sebastian one. So yeah, skinny dip phone cases. I definitely recommend. A little bit more pricey than your average phone case, yes, but for the designs, I think it's kind of worth it. I also want to mention Casetify phone cases. I don't own any of these, but I just think they look so cool. I know that if I was to get like a new phone, I would definitely wait. I definitely want to order some phone cases from them because I just think they just look so nice and I get ads for them all the time. So it's kind of like been plugged into my head now. And the last thing I wanted to mention was Coconut Lane laptop skins. They've just been my go-to for laptop skins for the longest time. I think I'm on my third one now as, you know, I just like to update it every so often when I get bored with them. So this is my current Coconut Lane laptop skin and it just looks so nice and they're such good quality. I've seen some people get laptop skins that just honestly just peel off, get scraped really easily and these just don't. They just stay on so nicely. They stay in such good condition so yeah and look at this design. I'm still so obsessed with it. I think it's gonna be a while before I want a new one. In terms of hair, I don't have too much to talk about, but if you know that they're into their styling, maybe they like curling and crimping their hair a lot, then I will definitely recommend the Mark Hill wand, or the styling wand, I don't really know what it's called. So this is the wand and you can basically just twist it. It comes out like this. So you buy the one separately, and then basically you can buy all of these extensions. I think this is the medium barrel, or the small barrel, I'm not completely sure. But then for example, I have this Mermaid Waver 
as well which I bought in the summer and they just have so many extensions that you can just switch them out so instead of having like a million tools that do different things you just have this one wand and then you buy or she can buy the extensions that she wants and yeah they do so many cool ones and yeah I just think this is a really nice present idea if you know that they're into styling their hair I just love using both of these really good for styling hair as well and really recommend them for your hair so now I'm going to talk a bit about fashion. I'm not going to say clothes because I feel like I feel like it's hard to pick clothes for people. And I suppose if you're going to do anything fashion related, then getting them a gift card for their favourite clothing shop is probably the best idea unless you really know what they want. Like let's say you've seen them pick something out, you know they want it, then maybe get them that. But aside from that, so I've gone down kind of other fashion routes. So the first one is Ugg. So I've written down their pink Ugg slippers. And so these ones aren't their classic ones. It's the ones that have sort of been going around the last sort of year or so. And they've released them in sort of like all these pastel colors. And I just think they're so cute. Kind of want these for myself. If you know they're a slipper person, and maybe they'd like a more high quality slipper or branded one. As long as you know what sort of colour they'd go for, then I think these would be a really nice idea. I think anything that's like comfy and cosy is such a nice Christmas present, especially because it's the winter time. And then the other one is just a pair of Uggs. So obviously you can just get them a pair of classic, simple Uggs, because I don't think you can really go wrong with that unless you know that they hate Uggs, of course, then don't get them them. I found these pair that have these like little bows on the back. I think they're so cute. Kind of want to buy them myself. So I just think especially for a girl, if you wanted to add that little bit of girliness to it, if they are girly that is, then I think the little bow ones could be really sweet. I'm next gonna say Hunter Wellies. And I'm saying this again, I'm taking some of these inspirations off my own wish list, but I think sort of the long matte ones in either pink or black are really nice and just really useful. But sometimes just a useful present is a really good present, especially if it's like the autumn and winter and they don't own a pair of wellies. And I just know that I would like a pair of these as well. So I'm just gonna put that out there because you might also think, yeah, you know what? Her pair of wellies are falling apart. She might want a nice new pair. Next, I'm gonna talk about Victoria's Secret. So first, I'm gonna say their sort of satin silk pajamas would be such a lovely present. I mean, pajamas in general, I think um, like ASOS, Next, and Topshop also do really nice, comfy pajamas if you want to check them out. If you want to get her some more like sort of luxe, beautiful pajamas, then Victoria's Secret might be the one. I think their sort of pink and white striped ones that like the actual models wear would be like perfect gift and also I'd like to talk about their robes which I actually have one down here so I bought this one last year I think in the sale and I just got this plain black one and honestly it's you can't really see this well on camera but it's so lovely I think it's nice to have your fluffy dressing gowns obviously but to be able to have like a soft like satin silk one as well it just feels so luxurious I mean to be fair you could probably walk into Victoria's Secret and you probably couldn't do any wrong buying them something in there so but maybe that's just me depends on the gal obviously and then going along the same lines of Victoria's Secret I'd like to mention Calvin Klein and lounge underwear these are two underwear brands that I feel like do the coziest and comfiest I pretty much live in Calvin's I feel like you can't go wrong with them as underwear sets if that's maybe what they've asked for especially lounge underwear I've really gotten into the last year or so because I feel like it looks cute but feels cute at the same time you can obviously ask her maybe to browse herself and say like oh which ones do you like the look of if you were thinking along those lines I think those are two brands that are really good for underwear and last for sort of fashion I would recommend if she's more of a sporty type or she goes gym a lot, maybe she's involved in some sort of sporty activity, then a Gymshark, then I feel like you couldn't go wrong with a Gymshark set. They do so many cute sort of little cohorts that you can wear to the gym and stuff. I'm just gonna show you one that I picked up in the Black Friday sale, which is this sort of like hot pinky coral long sleeve gym set. So it comes with the long sleeve top and the leggings. And I feel like, Similar to loungewear, because loungewear does this sort of packaging as well. It comes in this like really nice packaging and it just makes it feel that more luxurious. But yeah, I just think Gymshark maybe more of your sporty gal 
or maybe just I mean they're really comfy just to lounge in as well okay so next I'm going to talk about jewelry which I think is such a big topic to talk about in fact I can't possibly say everything that's in my head right now one brand I'd like to talk about first is Misoma if you pronounce it like that I don't personally own anything from Misoma but I do have a couple of things on my wish list and I just think they have such lovely jewellery. One thing I think is really lovely from them is the gold leaf choker and I feel like people have seen this on so many people, or at least I have, it's, I've just seen it on so many people and it look amazing so I just think that that would look so so pretty. Maybe if she likes her gold and her chokers. A lot of these brands I'm going to mention, I think they do silver jewellery. I feel like the gold jewellery looks the nicest. I also love that Misoma sort of do like their birth pendants sort of you know depending on their birth month and I think that's always just a lovely go-to present because it just makes it a little bit more personal I think. I also found on ASOS the other day the brand Whistles which I didn't know they did jewellery but I found this really cute pair of earrings and a matching necklace. They're a little bit more on the chunkier side which surprised me a little bit but because they have these little like cut out stars I just thought they were adorable. Again, a little bit more on the cheaper side, so maybe if you wanted to spend a little bit less, but at the same time, it's still got that branding and luxury to it without being too expensive. Then the last brand I wanted to talk about was Daisy Jewelry. I sort of started hearing about them at the start of the year and I became obsessed with the Estee Lalonde tea bar range. I immediately had the necklace, matching bracelet and earrings on my wish list and my aunt actually got me the earrings which I've got in at the moment and the matching bracelet. I mean you're not going to be able to see it. I'll do some close-ups and I've actually been obsessed with them. They are so so beautiful and I think there's something about having like a matching set which just makes you feel put together doesn't it? I just think these brands are killing it at the moment so they're good ones to go for. And then lastly, jewellery wise, I'm going to talk about stackers. This is my stackers jewellery box, which I've shown in a couple of videos, sort of like room tour videos and stuff. I have two layers currently, as I don't have a huge vast amount of jewellery at the moment. This is sort of like the pink and neutrally colour, and I just think they're so lovely. So this is the lid and that's what the inside looks like. I sort of keep more of my favourite jewellery in here, so I'll keep my, my daisy jewellery in here. Any ones that my parents have given me, or my boyfriend, I'll keep most of my rings in here and my Pandora stuff. And then on the bottom, I have sort of my wider storage. I've got sort of hair accessories in here, hair bubbles, and then I've got like my chunkier earrings in here. If this is something they're interested in and they have a lot of jewellery, you could just get them the top lid which isn't too expensive. Once you've gotten them that, they can then buy the other layers for themselves. You could get them the top and other layers for them if they wanted. And then I'm gonna talk about a couple of random things. So one thing I think if they're into their pop vinyls, obviously you can just think about their favorite characters from TV shows or films. I mean, you can get pop vinyls for literally so many things nowadays. I know that I have my own sort of little collection. It's under my bed at the moment, so I can't show you them. For example, if they love Friends, like I do, I would absolutely love to have a little Jerry and Chandler pop vinyl next to each other. Likewise, if they're into Game of Thrones, they're into Doctor Who. I'm just saying things I like. <laughs> and you can just get them like their favourite character pop vinyl. And there we go, that's your little gift. I'm also gonna talk about mugs because I, I mean, I could spend all day showing you all of my mugs. I personally love mugs from Urban Outfitters, Oliver Bonus, ASOS sometimes do some good ones. I'm just gonna show you my favorite mug, which is this one from Oliver Bonus that, again, my boyfriend got me and it's just my favourite mug to have a little cup of tea in. It's just so beautiful. I loved receiving this as a gift. Maybe guys wouldn't always think to get a mug for a girl, but you know, she might be a mug girl. I'm next going to talk about candles. So the first one I'm going to mention is this tomato blossom candle that I got from H&M earlier in the year. Ah! It smells so good. I think I've already said in the past that this is literally a dupe for Green Tomato Leaf by Jo Malone, which I'm not gonna lie, I wouldn't mind that one as well. I'm hoping they still sell this because this is freshness in a candle. Next, I'm going to talk about Bath & Body Works candles. So this, I have three of them, but this is Caramel Pumpkin Swirl, which honestly is like my favorite. 
<sighs> I mean, if you can get a hold of one of these bad boys, then she'll probably marry you. Or maybe that's just me. I am obsessed with Bath & Body Works candles, which sadly you can only get in the US, so... Boy, you happen to be going to the US. Pick up a couple of these, won't you? People do tend to sell them on eBay for a bit more money, and yes, it is sad that they're making money out of it, but at the same time, you could still get a candle from eBay if she really wanted it. They do so many different scents. I literally have a wish list of Bath & Body Works candles that I want, and there's too many on it. There's too many. If she is into her candles, boys and girls, Bath & Body Works candles is the way to go. She might be a Yankee candle person, if she is, you get her a Yankee candle. Yeah. Next up, I'm going to suggest a Polaroid camera. I asked for this uh, for my family last Christmas. Or was it the Christmas before? It might have been actually before that. I've just been obsessed with it ever since, especially for like holidays. I love to take lots of pictures on this. You can get so many different colours. So if she doesn't want a pink camera, you can get a black one or a white one. I just feel like you can't go wrong with this either, unless she's so techy to the point that she says these are pointless. Then don't get her one. They're just so cute and I just think a really good present. If you're gonna get her one of those, I feel like you should get her a little photo album to put her pictures in. I actually need more of these because I think I've run out actually. Fold lots of little pictures and I mean, if you get her one, she sort of needs somewhere to put the pictures. Next one I'm gonna say is a Chili's flask. Now, I've honestly gotten so many people a Chili's bottle as a present. I've gotten my boyfriend one, I've gotten my best friend one, I've gotten my mum one. So for me personally, I think this is such a go-to present and I don't think anyone has given me negative feedback on giving them one. I just think it's the kind of thing you wouldn't think to get for yourself. My parents got me this last Christmas. This is such a lovely present if they don't already have one that is. So they basically look like this. Yeah, so you can obviously you can put water in it or juice or get your coffee in it from your local coffee shop. Yeah, I just think these are such a lovely present and they come in like lots of different designs, but I mean, sometimes the simpler the better. Next, wanted to go on a little food rumble. So I was gonna mention Biscuiteers because they do such nice personalized biscuits. It's obviously spending quite a little bit more money on something that's edible, but I think it could be sort of worth it sometimes depending like if it's an occasion. So for Christmas, they obviously do like Christmas designs. And also speaking of that, it's the website's called Baked by Steph and she does the same sort of thing that Biscuiteers do but I feel like she does even more personalised and she does such cool like donuts and cakes obviously some of these things you'd have to go pick up from her in London she does also some really cool biscuits as well I just think that could be a really nice present you know that they want something edible for Christmas and also speaking of which I also wanted to say Pink Lindor ladies and gents if they like their strawberries and cream chocolate like me I am hoping for some Pink Lindor this Christmas I don't know what it is, but I'm really, really craving some Ferrero Rocher. So maybe a tower of Ferrero Rocher could be a win. This is starting to be like what chocolate I want for Christmas, but I mean, it could work for any girl. Don't forget the chocolate. And next, I thought I would save this bit till last, but if you are, maybe if you're thinking of more of a luxurious Christmas present or spending a little bit more money than the things I've already mentioned. I think a really nice idea for someone who's more into their fashion would be a nice designer belt. Whether this is a Gucci belt or a YSL belt, they can really do like some nice simple black or brown belt with just the logo on the front. I think that would be a lovely present for someone who you know is into those sort of brands or if there's a particular brand that you know she likes that's a designer. Another one would be a luxury scarf. In particular, I'm thinking of a Burberry scarf, of course. I mean, there are other designers that you could think of as well, but I just think the Burberry scarves are just so lovely, so classic, I think. Most girls would probably adore them. Next, I wanna talk about like sort of card holders. I'm not gonna talk about purses because I do think that's obviously ranging into like the 400 Plus, so for example, card holders, you can obviously get sort of like little Chanel or YSL or like Gucci little card holders. Yes, are expensive, but still are under like the margin a little bit. And as well, I know personally that, for example, I have a Louis Vuitton purse. They do a Louis Vuitton key holder, 
which sort of looks like a little mini wallet but you open it up and you can put all your keys in it. You can get ones that matching to the purse so I feel like if you could find like a little key holder that matches a purse so for example the Louis Vuitton one that I found that could maybe match their purse or their handbag for example that would be a really nice present as well. I think the last thing I'm going to mention because I haven't mentioned anything like this yet, a pair of earphones. I have my Apple Pink Beats, which I mean, if she doesn't already have these, and you know that she would, what are you playing at? These are absolutely beautiful. These are like the, um, the studio ones, so that they're like the ones that completely cover your ears and drown out all sound. It's really the main reason I got them, I wouldn't have seen the point of getting the other ones they literally drown out everything like when you're on transport with these you can't hear anything you can't hear traffic you can't hear the engine you are just in your own little music world and i love them yes they are bulky to take around because even though you can do that they are still a bit bulky i think especially for like traveling and transport these are a really good present and if you know a gal that would like these they obviously do other colours as well, so if pink isn't for them, they do other colours as well. So yeah, that's the end of my Christmas gift guide list. And I really hope this video helps you a bit with your Christmas shopping or whoever you were struggling to buy for. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a big thumbs up down below. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!